welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. This is a Sunday afternoon. We just recently got home from going to mass and both the kids are taking naps, maybe even my husband because I don't know where he is. And I have like a bunch of cakes that I need to make. So we're approaching September. Aubrey, my daughter, who is going to be turning six years old, her birthday's happening in September. And I have like two cake ideas that I plan on doing for her birthday. The first is like a big cake and I will be sharing my family's ice cream cake recipe. I'll show you guys how my mom did it when we were little. I'm really excited because I've never really seen anyone else do ice cream cakes this way. So stay tuned for that. But I also plan on doing just a bunch of cupcakes and it's going to be a bird party. So we're gonna have like hopefully little nests on top with eggs and it's just gonna be really cute. So I wanna make those cupcakes and it's great because when I make cakes, I can make them months in advance, maybe not like six months or more, but like, you know, we're only a month out. I can make it in advance and freeze them and they're gonna be totally fine and very moist and very delicious the day of the party. And the reason I'm making it so early, one is for convenience, but two, I was asked by my cousin to make a smash cake for his daughter's first birthday, which is coming up next weekend for us. So I figured if I'm gonna be breaking out all the ingredients anyways, I might as well make Aubrey's birthday cupcakes at the same same time and I have other parties that are kind of coming up and I figured why not make the layer cakes for those parties as well so we're just doing like a triple batch or however much sour cream I have we're gonna be doing as much as I can today just to save time since I'm getting everything out and dirty and used anyways so that is my like main task that I want to tackle today but I have a bunch of eggs that need to be washed I have a house that I'd like to get cleaned because tomorrow, Monday, is going to be Aubrey's first day at first grade and I'm homeschooling her. So I've generated a schedule and maybe I'll even kind of break it down for you guys later in this video. I'll share more about that, maybe in a voiceover because it will get loud. And we're, you know, it's her first day of school. It's my first day of school with her. At least for first grade, we did kindergarten and preschool together. So this year is the first like required by the state school year. So I'm really trying to be better about like keeping a good schedule just so I can stay on top of it. And that, you know, it's better for the kids too, I think when they have a routine that they can stick to. Not every day will be the same, but every day of the week should be the same if you get what I'm saying. And if not, I will again share that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and get my ingredients out. Some of them have to get down to room temperature, so I have to take that out and get that all ready. And then while that is getting to room temperature, let's go ahead and get some cleaning done while we're at it too. As I'm washing these eggs, I thought I would give you a little update about the hen that was sick that I shared about a while back. It has been eight days since she last received her medicine for her little like eye bubbles, and she really isn't showing any other signs of symptoms. So we finally reached the time when we are able to safely use her eggs because the medicine again suggested that we wait a week for the medicine to actually just get out of her system. Now for this past week, I have been collecting her eggs and setting them in my chicken basket because I think that they are beautiful and really add to the decoration in my kitchen. But now that I am able to use her eggs and we are clearing this basket by washing the eggs, I am going to put these eggs in our green waste. Normally, if an egg is compromised for like human consumption, I just cook it and feed it back to my chickens, but I didn't want to reintroduce any possible lingering medicine back to the flock. So that is why these are going in the green waste and it just feels so wrong. So I'm really hoping this is the last time that I will have to do this.
Now that we have all of our ingredients measured out, the kids have woken up from their naps and are ready to go outside and play. One of my techniques for keeping the house somewhat tidy is to send them outside with some Otter Pops, especially when it is hot outside. I've even created a little cup concoction to house the Otter Pops so that the kids don't keep like coming back and forth and opening up the back door and letting the flies in. But anyways, while they are outside, let's go back to making these cakes. I've climbed the mountains in Montana Danced in the lights of New Orleans Portland ran away with me And San Francisco stayed with me Nashville made its way in between Fell in love in Minnesota Fell apart south of Salt Lake So I'm just about to the last step of making the cake batter and the kids have made their way back inside and I just wanted to share what I was witnessing as I mixed these ingredients. The kids love riding around and like pushing these toys up and down our hallway and it is just so very entertaining to watch. But what really caught my eye was this eggshell on Jack's head. I don't know what game they were playing, but I am here for it. <laughs> this is pretty much my everyday but usually they go much faster and we'll actually see them a little later this evening going at their normal speed. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Let me 
With our first few trays in the oven and the cupcake trays prepared for the next round of baking, there really isn't much I can do but wait when it comes to the cakes. So I'm going to use my time wisely and start to wash some of the dishes so I don't have a horrendous mess when all of the baking is done. We are finally approaching the finish line here, and by this time I was feeling pretty hungry. On this evening, we were just kind of eating leftovers, so I will be enjoying some chicken enchilada casserole that I meal prepped a while back. I do have a recipe video, which I will link up above and down below in the description box in case you want to try it out. It really is one of my favorite dishes. Now let's go ahead and go outside to give the chickens some of these crushed eggshells that I baked as the oven preheated. The chickens need a lot of calcium to form their shells. If they don't have enough calcium, you'll often get like soft shelled eggs or eggs coming out without any shell at all. And a lot of chicken owners actually offer their flock oyster shells to help with this calcium issue. The chickens will eat these calcium rich foods as needed so that's offered as like a supplement to their normal food feed. Now we have purchased some oyster cells in the past, but I find it more cost effective to just feed the eggshells back to the hens. And of course, after washing all of the eggs, I found one more in one of the nesting boxes, but this will just have to serve as decoration until the basket gets full again. One of the last main tasks I wanted to tackle this evening was cleaning up the living room and kitchen. But before we get to that, I wanted to share what the family was up to. Juan discovered that Netflix actually offers interactive games now, so he was relaxing trying to beat Aubrey's high score on this little fruit game, and the kids were doing their usual hallway shenanigans.
but afterwards, I got to work vacuuming while Juan cleaned the tiny crevices of our kitchen chairs. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it After the vacuuming was done, Juan started to get the kids ready for bed while I vacuum mopped the kitchen and living space. I know I'm not easy, I drag you out your mind. And there are days I hate you, but baby, you're still mine. And I have the best times, no matter what. Take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it. It is so satisfying to dump that nasty water. I am tempted to really test this machine and do like two or more passes to see if any dirt remains after like the initial clean. But right now I really don't have that kind of time to like vacuum all over again. But if I ever do, would you want to see the results? Let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, we are wrapping up the evening by putting the dishes away and loading up the machine once again because I used so many items in my baking adventure today. Then I will be able to sit down for a bit and look over my planned school schedule. Before I share all of the details, I think I'm going to test out my schedule and see if it actually works for me and make any tweaks as necessary and then I might film a short video sharing how I planned my days in case any of you guys are gonna homeschool for the first time, or if you're just interested in what a typical homeschool day is like for me anyways, because it will vary from house to house. But while I do that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and if you guys are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.